Okay, I think I'm live. Um, trying something new today, folks. So we're going to see how it goes, how this works out. Let me know if you guys can hear me, uh, if this is working. Um, because uh, I'm uh, so I'm what I'm doing. <laughs> The thing I'm trying out is I'm, I'm streaming to three different platforms at the same exact time. So, um, yeah, I've never done, never tried this before. So, uh, we're going to see if it works. So streaming to, to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch all at the same time. So, um, hopefully it doesn't lag or anything. Uh, you know, I have, I have the, uh, internet speed to do something like this. So if I have any problems, it's probably going to be with my computer. So. Thank you guys. Glad to hear it's going well. You can hear me. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Enrique, how's it going? Yeah, the bird's cool. So check this out. I don't know what kind of, do you guys know what kind of bird this is? I have no idea, but uh, I thought it looked pretty cool. So I'll just start trying to draw this. Um, one of my eyes has been watering all day. I think I have something stuck in my eye, but I cannot get it out. I don't know where it is. So yeah, we'll try to we'll try to do this. Uh, okay. Try to be try not to draw this thing too big. I'll zoom in a little bit here. Mm. Oh, that's a good, yeah, that's a good observation, South Pond. This it does, it does look like same coloring as a woodpecker, right? But the beak, I feel like the beak's different and it looks, it has the body shape of like a, a cardinal, you know, like with the, yeah, but I, I really don't know. Um, you know, I know a few different birds and what they are, but um, I don't know a lot. <laughs> I feel like I used to when I was a kid, I, I probably knew more. So I'm just trying to draw that, figure this out quickly, get a quick sketch in here. It's sitting on some kind of post. Maybe I'll modify that, maybe make it smaller or something. Um, but that's nice. This thing on its head, very important to put in there. Definitely needs to be there. <clears throat> Only problem is now I'm on YouTube and Twitch and still missing the chat, apparently. I can see you, Jeremy. Uh, I'm not sure. You can't see the chat or uh. Can't wait to see the finished product says Maria. Well, I <laughs> I hope it'll look good. That's my hope. Um you know, we're going to do this with white and black pen and ink. So I thought this was pretty cool because there's a lot of white in this and a little bit of black and then some mid-tone as well. So it's almost kind of perfect for uh, this kind of paper. We'll try it. See what happens. Definitely see what happens. You know, it's funny. I don't really have like a, you know, I don't really have any audience on Twitch. I've never streamed to Twitch at all. And uh, so I figured, you know, let's just start trying it, you know. Try to reach a bigger audience, so 
yeah, stream into three places at one time. We'll just see how it goes. This is the test stream. <laughs> I thought about testing it this weekend, but I never got around to it. I was working on some other things, and uh, so it seems to be going smoothly. So glad to hear that, Jeremy. Glad it's working for you now. Good thing it's not a technical issue on my end, at least, you know. It seems like uh, all the comments so far have just been from YouTube, which that's okay. I mean, not a big deal. I never, I don't really have a big audience on, on Facebook either. So it'll be interesting to see like if anybody tunes in or if anybody, uh, you know, if I can do it, if I can stream, keep streaming all three of these consistently and see, you know, see what happens uh, with the streams and the audience. And uh, yeah, anyway. Just a little behind the scenes for you guys. It's kind of what's going on, what I'm working on. Okay. Uh, I feel like part of this is a little bit skinny, I think. I think it needs to be fatter in the front. I think it needs to come out more. Looking at the front part of the, the bird here. I think his belly needs to come out like this and then curve under. I think that looks a bit better. That's a better, that's definitely a better shape. So sometimes, you know, I just put a line down and, you know, I don't know if it's correct or not, but it's got to be close, you know, it's close to something. And the more I can, I can keep refining it, the more correct I can have it be, you know, so. Yeah, Twitch is just another, it's just a platform for streaming, basically, and just a lot of streamers on there. So um, that's all Twitch is. It's just a big streaming platform. I don't really know much about it either, to be honest. I don't really go on there or do anything. Um, a few years ago, I watched a, a chess stream streams, but believe it or not, I was watching a lot of chess streams on there, but that was many years ago when I was kind of taking a break from my art. I got into chess a lot for some reason. It's very interesting. I guess my brain wanted a different kind of like level of creativity or like, you know, a way to think about something. So <laughs> YouTube for life. Yeah. I used to watch a lot of art streams on Twitch back then. They had a lot of draftsmen on their art section. Now it's all digital painting and anime. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. It's all digital painting usually. So hopefully this will add a little bit different to there. Hopefully we've got some, get some uh, more traditional stuff, you know. I'm not against digital painting, but it's just, it's just not the same, dude. You know, there's no edit, undo. There's no edit, undo, edit, redo. There's no layers here. You know, this is like, this is it. It is what it is. So. With digital, it's like, meh. Just seems a bit easier to me. I mean, it's still difficult, like I have trouble with it, but it's just because I'm impatient with it. Digital is just way more powerful, more forgiving, you know? It's just a different kind of medium than uh, getting out your paintbrushes or picking up your pencil and sharpening it and, you know, having to deal with all the mistakes you make but yeah <clears throat> going on nathan thanks for tuning in so this apparently this uh someone says shilpa uh says that's a red whiskered booble booble very common bird in india maybe found elsewhere in southeast asia as well oh okay no wonder why I didn't know what it was, because uh, 
they're not in the place, the uh, area of the world that I'm in, that I currently live in. So that's why I've never really seen one of these. Thanks for the info. Greatly appreciated. Yeah, I really don't have any clue what it is, but I'm going to go with what they said. I mean, it sounds legit to me, as far as I know. But I can't Google search it or anything right now. Uh, I have no idea. Okay, I think that's good. I mean, I just got to get the tail in here a bit better. Uh, seems a little off. Let's see what... It's pretty straight, actually. This this back part's pretty straight all the way through. It's a little curved this way, at the bottom. See, how far does it go down? Um, so, yeah, right about there. Right about there. And it gets a little bit fatter at the bottom. Something like that, I guess. Not bad, right? Not bad. You know, I'll simplify this post. You know, we'll have some little dark area right here. Dark. I'm trying to make it more like a wooden post or something. It's kind of, it's pretty ugly, whatever it is there. It looks like a, I don't know, really old tree or something. Some kind of wood post that's all rotting and stuff. So we'll just keep it simple. Um, all this will be black, kind of. Shadow. It's a little bit light on the front there. This will all be dark. The eye is really dark. You know, it'd be cool to add the little color spot on there. I wonder if that might be too much. But that could be cool. That could be cool. I do have like these red, uh, these red markers. I could add a little red spot. You could even do watercolor as well. I could do a watercolor red spot. You know what I mean? Um, so these are also in South America too, or something similar. So that's cool. Okay. Uh, Enrique. Yeah. This photo is from Unsplash as well. If you just type in birds, this one will come up. I found it today. So any reason for using tone paper as against white? Um, cause I just love, it's just a personal preference. I just love the tone paper. I love being able to use black ink and then white ink and then having the midtones be the paper. Um, it's just a personal preference. That's all. I know there's some people it's hard for them to find tone paper wherever they live. You know, I think I think people in India have a problem finding it in some places. Um, I'm sure there's many other countries where it's probably hard to find. But I really love it. I really love it. If you can find any kind of tone paper... I highly suggest trying it out. Or if you can find watercolor paper and then toning it yourself with a light wash, and then you can draw on top of that, you know, that's a way to do it too. You know, then you could use, you can use charcoal and then white charcoal. You could probably use pen and then white charcoal with it or graphite. You know, there's a lot of different things you could do. So that's why I do it. But uh, if you're watching folks, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or at least one of the three, I'd appreciate it. Thanks for tuning in. Also, check out my website, SchaeferFineArt.com. I've got some other pen and ink drawings on tone paper there as well. You can find, and also watercolor paintings um, that I do on these streams. So if, the, if you're new to the stream, definitely check out my website. And there's also a page on my website where you can support me. If you like the, if you like what I'm doing here, you like the, um, like the stream and everything, you can support me anyway. So check all that out on my website, shapeoffineart.com. Thank you guys for tuning in. So let's get into the ink, I guess. Um, I feel pretty good about the sketch, I think. So I'm kind of surprised it, it went so smoothly. You know, we're only like, how many seconds are we in? I don't even know. Like, not many. Yeah, 14 minutes in, 15 minutes. So, oh, thank you, Enrique. Thank you for... Um, reminding me. So I'm going to do tomorrow's live stream if I do it tomorrow. The next live stream is 150 
and uh, I'm going to be doing critiques. So if you want to send me one piece of art, I already got a few. I got one or two so far people sent in. And uh, so if you have a piece of art, send me an send me a photo of it, info at SchaeferFineArt.com for critique tomorrow, critique stream. So, yeah, thank you for that, Enrique. Um, am I adding watercolor tonight? Yeah, I don't know. I, you know what? I might. I'm. We could. I didn't even think about it. I didn't think I was going to, but you know what? It would be cool to do, like, a nice horizontal like streak across the back or something really loose like a green streak and then have the little dot of red on the bird that could be cool i think i think we might try that i think that's a i think that's that sounds like a good plan i think what do you guys think about that idea and then the rest being gray it'll really make the colors just pop you know i think That'll be really cool. <laughs> All right. Let's try to get to this ink part pretty I think this, I really, I feel like this one's going to go pretty smoothly. I kind of I just messed up the curve of the beak. I made it a little too straight, but say okay. Just roll with it. Just taking my time here with some of these lines. I think this is an old pen. Let me try to get a new one. I got newer ones and some that are older. And I think that was an old one. Yeah, this one's a lot better. Feels much smoother. Sometimes it's good to keep the older pens around. You never know. Sometimes you might need a line that you don't want very strong, you know. Most of you know all the regulars here. You know I have these two different kinds of white pens that I use. And one is much stronger than the other. And recently I've been using the less strong one. You know, so sometimes it's it's good to have different kinds of even though the pen is like dead or dry, you know, sometimes it's good to keep it because you might need like a scratchy dry line. You know, it's almost like a could be a dry brushing technique with ink in a way. It's kind of cool. Cool idea. Oh, a vignette? Yeah. A little vignette. Yeah, I think I might just do like a some kind of horizontal streak. And this is like going out of diagonal. It'd be cool to like, yeah, I don't really want to make an X, but maybe something like this going across the back. I don't know. It's my first idea. It's some kind of forest green like that. Really rich, uh, slightly cool green, something like that. I think it'd be pretty cool. I feel like I can already see it on the paper. I just have to execute it <laughs> properly. Boom. Yeah, I feel pretty good about this one. It was pretty rare lately. I kind of struggled with last week with a lot of the ones. You know, some of them I struggled in the beginning, but then they turned out, ended up turning out pretty, pretty good. It's crazy how like every piece that I do is like has such a different feel. You know, sometimes it's a struggle. I'm fighting it. Sometimes it goes smoothly like this one. It just, just kind of like happens. Didn't really have to do much. Now, I could be talking too soon because this the shading of this could be very difficult, very challenging, but I think we'll be okay. I think I'll be all right. But you never know. never know. But yeah, it's like every piece I do, it's some are just so smooth, turn out, some are smooth in the beginning and then I end up ruining them in the end or, or like they turn out not as epic as, as I 
as they were, I thought it was turning out, you know, it's like be disappointed with some of them sometimes. Yeah. It's, it's, it's funny how it just happens that way. Pretty crazy. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? What's going on? How do you know how, how do you know how to use thin or thick lines? I mean, it's all personal preference, you know, it's all personal preference. Like if I want to make a thicker outline around this whole thing, then it's going to have a different look to it. It's going to have a different style. So it's, it's not like, you know, there is some theory to it. You know, if you want to use thick lines in certain spots, some spots are better than other. It's, it's usually, it's really hard to explain. It, it's something you have to see a lot. And, um, yeah, that's, that's a good point as well, Kyle. He says, but on a line drawing, usually thicker on the darker side and thin on the light. That's a good, yeah, that's a good way to go about it as well. Um, but normally a certain area of a curve of a certain area of a line kind of when you, it's like where you want the force to be, where you want the the action to like, where the action is happening. Like, for instance, like I could thicken this line, like right around here on the belly, just where it's like curving, like, you know, like it'd make that part more dynamic, you know, that whole, this whole curve, just make it more dynamic. If I did like that, you know, there's, there's, it's something to play around with. There's, there's different, many, many different ways to, go about um, creating thick lines and thin lines. And it's something I'm still playing around with, you know, I haven't totally figured it out, but there is something to it though. You know, it's not, it's not all just accident when you see that on, on, people's drawings and stuff when they create some thick lines in some areas and thin lines in others, you know, it's, it's, it, it's just something you feel out, you know, you kind of, it's really, it's difficult to explain as you can tell me trying to explain this thing. It's just like, it's, I can't do it. <laughs> So I think I'm planning on, uh, if anybody's interested in my watching the videos on my channel, I have, I think I, I'm planning on having a video come out this Wednesday. Um, it's gonna be different than what I've been doing recently. It's gonna be, uh, me talking about a specific thing about drawing, but, um, yeah, I've been working on the editing and such recently this past weekend. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's going out really well, you know. So stay tuned for that, folks, on Wednesday. I'm going to plan to have that video released. And it's a different subject, too. I've never really... It, the I'm, I'm kind of... I'm going to be connecting two different, like... Two things that are totally, you know, kind of uh, separate in the world, you know, like art mixed with something else. Uh, it's pretty cool. I've never heard, I've never really seen anyone else, you know, I don't really watch a lot of art YouTubers, but I've never seen anybody else talk about this kind of subject in this way and, and link and kind of have like, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think about it. because I have some other similar ideas. All right, so I feel good about this. Um, I'm gonna start shading this here shortly. Just need to get this foot in here. Sometimes, yeah, Nathan, that's a good uh, point. He says, sometimes you can even break the line to indicate light. Yeah, exactly. So you can have like a, I think you would call that, you know, you can call it a broken line or you call it a lost edge. So, you know, when you have thicker, thin lines, it's also playing around with edges too, which is more commonly referred to in 
painting, but I mean, it's still a huge thing in drawing as well. You know, the edge work when you're specifically when you're shading, uh, having those soft, soft, hard, uh, in between and also lost edges found and lost edges. Oh gosh, about to sneeze. Whew, sorry. Didn't want to see. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right, let's shade this thing. Let's start putting in some of the darkest darks, I guess. Start out the, start out with those. Kind of some dark areas. And then we'll move I'll move on. We'll move on to some light areas and stuff. So even though the eye is completely solid black, I don't really I don't really want to do it right now. Usually Usually if you make the eye completely solid, it, it kind of, what I've noticed over this last year of doing, drawing a lot of animals and drawing eyes on animals and stuff, if the eye is completely black and I shade it that way, it just kind of loses something. It loses like, it, I don't know if it just makes it look flat. It just, um, it loses this sense of life, I feel personally so the shading today I don't really plan to do like up and down like I always do normally I do like you know vertical hatch marks only like just vertical the whole time I'm gonna switch it up today I feel like for this one don't really have to do it that way the whole time I'll kind of try to follow the form a little bit uh, where I can if I can you know, see any kind of form, then I'll try to, I'll try to follow the form, I guess, in one way or another. So it looks like we're still only getting comments from YouTube. I have no idea if it's, I'm even streaming on Facebook and Twitch right now. Hopefully it's working. It's, it seems like everything's fine. No dropped frames on my end. Everything's good. Excellent connection. So yeah, exactly, Nathan. It loses the life. Definitely. Yeah, Aaron Blaze is really great, man. He, he's, he's a really great wildlife artist. I watch his stuff sometimes, too. He does some really great watercolors of uh, animals and stuff, but I really love his drawings. You know, he's he's one of the, the, the guys that got me into uh, try out, you know, to, to get into the toned paper. You know, I was kind of inspired by him, and then um, I saw him doing toned paper, and I'm, like, I'm going to try that out. And, then, you know, I tried it a few years ago. Um, okay, cool. Thanks, Jeremy. So I just don't have an audience there, but, you know, in time, in time, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, glad it's, glad it's working. So cool. I appreciate that. But, yeah, Aaron Blaze, uh, yeah. Really great artist. Yeah, I tried. I tried the. I first tried the tone paper a few years ago, and I was doing graphite and charcoal in it. And then, uh, just about a year and a half ago, I decided, you know, I'm going to do pen and ink because I'm tired of like having charcoal smudge everywhere and, and graphite kind of smudge and stuff, and having to spray the the sketchbook and you know having to buy the sprays all the time and work with that kind of stuff is just like, eh, I don't really want to do this. You know, every once in a while I'll still do some graphite, but pretty rare. It's pretty rare. I'm, I'm really into pen and ink nowadays. And I was really afraid, man. When I first started the pen and ink, I was really afraid. I thought, you know, I was scared. You know, I knew I was going to make a lot of mistakes. I knew a lot of my first pen and inks really sucked. I mean, they just weren't good. Um, you know, they were okay. They weren't, like, horrible. But, you know, they just um, wasn't what I was going for, you know. But it just took me some time to figure that out. You got to give yourself time to figure out a new medium, you know. 
got to be kind to yourself with something like that. At least try to be. <laughs> okay. Just working my way down the bird here. Working my way down the bird. It's looking pretty good, I think. Let's see, there's too light. Yeah, maybe darken it there. This would make a nice watercolor? Yeah, definitely would. <laughs> Almost all the... Um, You can't find me on Facebook, Mom. Just go to my go to my uh, art page. Go to my personal profile and click my art page. But yeah, anyway, I'll check later see if it works. Why didn't you use white for the chest? I haven't I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> I will. I'm just working on the I'm working on the black on the dark areas right now. Be patient, be patient. I'm gonna use white on the chest. I just didn't, I don't like starting with the white usually. But yeah, I'll, I'll get there, I'll get there. You know, we're only we're only 30 minutes in and I haven't even shaded this whole thing yet, so. Don't judge it before it's finished. Your painter, how could you be afraid? Well, I mean, it's, well, number one, it's something different. I'm afraid to try something new. And paint, I mean, you can paint over paint. Like, no matter what, it is. Like, I mean, watercolor is a little less forgiving, but, you know, oil paint, you can paint over. Um, acrylics, you can paint over. A lot of gouache, you can paint over. Pen and ink, it's like, you know, if I make a wrong line or something, the whole thing is, is done. Like, like start over get rid of it you know it's very very unforgiving so that's why i was afraid but you know i don't let my fear stop me i think there's a lot of people out there they let their fear stop them from trying like oh man i'm gonna make a mistake and it's not gonna be good and it's like but try it maybe you won't make a mistake and so what if you make a mistake what's the big deal that's how you learn, that's how you grow, that's how you're gonna get better. It's inevitable, it's, it's unavoidable. You can't avoid mistakes. We've all made them in life, we're all gonna make them in our art, no matter how many times we do something, we're still gonna screw it up. And I, I may screw up this bird, you know? <laughs> like, there's no guarantee that I'm gonna make this bird look good, so, yeah. Hello from Bolivia. Thanks for tuning in. Glad to hear. How are, how's it going in Bolivia? That's way down there. It's winter down there right now. I mean, I don't, is Bolivia really far south? Gosh. You know, I really love geography, but there's some countries I don't know. I can't picture in my mind exactly where it's located. I think it's like mid to south south america i'm just gonna be quiet and make myself look stupid i even like to geo guess in my spare time imagine that i don't even know where I can't even pinpoint bolivia on a map it's pretty sad just gotta study more gotta practice more <clears throat> pin is permanent yeah exactly exactly yeah, I didn't even start with um, ballpoint pen. I just went straight into the to the pen. Oh man, I've seen you're right, Kyle. I've seen some really cool stuff with ballpoint pen. I mean, it's 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 crazy what people can do with any kind of materials out there. You know, there's there's so much crazy stuff on the internet now. People use like you know, toothpaste and all kinds of stuff for painting or toothbrushes and like, you know, this, there's just crazy the stuff that's, that people can do out there with non-art materials, you know. It's pretty wild. 
So this part down here, I might shade vertically just to, it's pretty flat looking. It's pretty dark, pretty flat. So I might try to, might just, since it's more of a shadow rather than the bird's texture, I'm going to, I'm going to just try to make it look flatter, like a shadow. It's my idea anyway. So, you know, this leg, I'll try to shade the form of it. It's really dark underneath here. So we're getting close to putting on the white pin. I can almost see this bird coming to life now. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like I can I can see this thing coming to life. It's gonna fly right off the page, hopefully. Just leave a blank page, you know what I mean? Have you used Cubs Win asks, um, have you used parallel calligraphy pen square nib? I have never used that I can remember, I've never used calligraphy pen. Glad to hear that, Shilpa. That's really good. Oh, really? You think so, Nathan? He says, uh, love the shading on this one. A bit more sketchy than you typically do. Really? Okay. Hey, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah, I feel, I just feel, um, I don't know, I feel good today. I feel confident about this. I feel, it's amazing what, how different you approach something if you feel good about it. You're just like, eh, you know, if it turns out good in the beginning, I feel, I don't know. I guess it just depends on the mood, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I think I went a little too dark up here in the beginning, but I can add some white pen up there. We can, we can kind of correct that a little bit, I think. Um, but I don't know yet, you know, we'll see. We just need a little bit of highlighting there on the top. Try to create some, a little bit of texture and stuff down here. I don't want it to be too distracting though, you know, just Try to keep it simple for the most part. Something like that. Not a big deal. I think that gets the idea across of it being on a post or something. All right, I guess we'll switch to the white pen before we get into some potential color. A uh, little, little splash of color. Um, How can I submit art for critique? Well, I will show you one more time. There you go. You can send one piece to me through uh, info at SchaeferFineArt.com. Just send me an email. Info at SchaeferFineArt.com. That's how you can submit one piece. We're doing a critique tomorrow live. Critique on the stream. Um, I think... You know what? I'm going to go I'm gonna go really bright today. Let's go with the bright white pen. Bright white pin. Got to find one that's not running out. Okay, there we go. Here goes everything, folks. Here goes everything. Yeah, the white pin always brings it to life. What paper am I using? I'm using uh, Strathmore. I'll show you real quick. Strathmore toned gray right now. Strathmore toned gray. 
9 by 12. So there you go. That's the paper I'm using. I use Tone Tan as well, but I just finished a Tone Tan sketchbook. So uh, yes, I may be adding color to this one. I may be adding color to this one. I'm thinking like a green splash in the background and then maybe the red on the... It's I really like the little spot of red, so I think that would really be cool. What do you guys think? Splash of red on the bird what could be cool. A little highlight on the eye. Bring it to life. It's a little too much, maybe. At least on the top. Oh well, not a big deal. It's actually not too bad. Sometimes I can't get this pen to write, but I don't want it to write too much. Okay, let's go to the beak. Maybe up here, actually. Quick, just a little bit. And then the beak. Got a nice highlight there. And, you know, it's really bright over here. Just trying to simplify it a bit and try not to be too detailed about it. <clears throat> Strathmore needs to get it together and sponsor you. That's what I'm saying, man. That's what I'm saying. Strathmore, where you at, homie? Send me the paper. Gosh, you know, I promote them every day. Every day on here. Or every other day, I guess. Promote them on my Instagram, too. Tag them. Or hashtag them, at least. Where are they at? Slacking. They give all the rich artists all the free stuff, you know? It's like, they don't need free stuff, dude. They're rich. They're making a living. They don't need free stuff. Why are you giving it to them? to support the small artist, man. Okay, so chest of the bird. I'm not going to fill in completely white. There's only a few small parts that are pretty solid white, so I'm going to have to start spacing out my shading here and that's just going to change the value so i'll keep it pretty solid over here but i'm going to start kind of spacing it out a bit hopefully it'll still look okay I have a link for his tone tan paper, but not the gray. Yeah, I mean, so you you'll find it there if you just click the link for the tone tan on Amazon. You'll find the you'll find the tone gray. It's like recommended, so you guys can you guys find that one. Just type in Strathmore tone gray. I'll have to change. I'll have to get a new update. I'll have to update the link for that since I'll be using tone gray for the next you know, 45 live streams, so, or I guess the next 100 live streams, because I do watercolor every other time. Oh, I just got an email. Is that from uh, Strathmore sponsoring me? Oh, no. That was a critique. <laughs> thought it was Strathmore, man. I thought they heard me. thought they were about to sponsor. thought they had the email ready to go. 
Yep, I'll send it to you. I'll send it to you. I can't do it right now, but I'll send it to you. If they just click the link to the the tan paper, um, I'll still get a commission from it. Like for the next 24 hours, anything you buy on Amazon, I get a small commission from it at no additional cost to you, which is great. That's the cool thing about these affiliate type of things. You know, I get like 4% of the sale of everything you buy and uh, it costs you the same amount of money. So you're kind of stealing money from Amazon and giving it to me. So it's a cool way to support me and, and, and not Amazon as much. Okay, um, zoom this out a little bit. Let's see what I'm working with here. Yeah, it's really coming to life, I think. What do you guys think? Does a white gel pen like this last a while doing these fillings? Um, you know, they last a few months. Like, I got like a four-pack or something. They last a little while. I mean, all these pens don't last. They only last a few months. And then i got to buy another new ones. But, um... Yeah, it is what it is, you know. I sell some drawings and paintings, and it gives me money for materials, you know. And sometimes the super chats you guys give, the donations, it helps me out buy materials and stuff, and I just keep I can keep going, you know. And the YouTube helps, everything helps, you know. So definitely appreciate you guys tuning in. Make sure you hit the like button. That'll help me out. It's one way to support this channel. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button and uh, yeah, this drawing will be for sale on my website after stream is over. So if you like what you're seeing here and you want to purchase it, I mean, I'm going to add a little splash of color to this. So it's not finished yet, but uh, Something to think about, you know. If you know anybody who likes birds, they want a Christmas present, something like that. Something to think about, consider. Too much, too much. There we go. I have one for watercolor highlight, but was afraid they wouldn't last long. I mean, if you're just using it for like a highlight or something like that, I mean, just use it. You know what I mean? It's not going to do you any good just sitting there. Yeah, man, the brush, I'm, I'm really, I'm really sad about brush pens, man. Cause I, I really like the brush pen. I have one right here. Um, this brush pen, but man, the nib, the, the tip just, you're right. Like after a few drawings, it's just, it gets all feathered out. It just doesn't work. It's uh, pretty disappointing. But I still like using those every once in a while. But yeah. Yeah, these white pins, they last a bit longer than that. <laughs> you know, it's it, I feel like they're almost like a regular pen, you know, these gel pens. Because I, I use these white pens almost every every drawing I do. You know, I use a lot of a bit of white pen. So what I, what I notice, I you know, I don't know if these these microns, I don't know if the ink ever runs out or if I end up just ruining the nib. A lot of them just stop writing, and I feel like is it the nib that I screwed up because I kind of hold them at an angle. They they say you're supposed to hold them straight up and down, but like who draws like that? Who draws straight up and down? Like, like who's gonna draw like this? Like, that's so. I mean, you can, but like that's just very difficult to like draw like that all the time. Like we write like this, you know. We that's how we write and that's how we draw it. It's so hard to like draw like this, you know. Just draw straight up and down. Like, it just seems very odd to draw like that. Uh, what happened here?
Thanks, Jeremy. Glad you like it. I think it's coming out pretty well. Sorry, folks. I just lost... Uh... It's the first time using this, this restream thing I'm using to stream to these three places. I, I just lost the chat that shows it from all three places. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if it like logged me out or something. I can still see the YouTube chat. Okay, I'm not really sure uh, what to do here. Ah, can't get this pinned right. Huh, this is annoying. Give me one second, folks. Hopefully I'm still streaming. Oh, okay, the microns dry really quickly. Yeah, I, I usually keep the cap on them when I'm not drawing with them. And I put them down in the, uh, when I put them in a cup like this, you know, I point them downward, so all the ink, ink's going down. But yeah, I guess it's just they dry out, I don't know. Seems that way. Do a little bit of white shading here, not a whole lot, because it's a lot darker down there. So I try to want to... I want to try to show that. Something like that, but I do want to show that this is all white. So, okay, still here, still streaming. Okay, cool. It's just uh, trying to reload this page now. It's taking so long. Ah, I really need to get a new laptop. <laughs> I really need to just invest in it and do it. Oh. I'm using a laptop from like 2015. <laughs> like, uh, it's just a little difficult, you know. And I'm streaming in 720. I can't even stream in 1080. You know, I have the internet to be able to do it. It's just my computer just doesn't have the doesn't have the uh, graphics card. Doesn't have the the RAM to do it. You know, I need to really upgrade. So I'll probably do that soon, sometime this year, I guess, the next few months, weeks, something. Anyway, folks, um, boring stuff. Okay. Pentel brush pen is good. Okay, I'm going to keep that in mind. Pentel brush pen. Pentel brush pen. Never heard of it. I mean, now that I think of it, I have heard of Pentel pens. Um, never heard of the. I didn't know they had brush pen, though. Uh, where's the. Oh, this is the good black pen. So I need to darken this down here a little bit. There's some like, gets really dark right up against that white. There's a little bit of dark here as well. Try to just go back and forth between the white and the, and the black pen, you know. Try to make sure I'm getting the right values here. Just squinting at it a little bit and bringing the value down where it needs to be. Something like that. Yeah, I really like how this is turning out, actually. Um, I'm really afraid to try the uh, watercolor on it, but I think that red, that's gonna pop this bird out, man. Gonna pop this bird out, I think. No doubt. You guys think I should add the red? Nobody really said anything, for, or at least I didn't see anybody saying it. Maybe I missed it. But come on, chat, open up. Slowly getting there. Okay.
Yeah, it is. It is crazy how fast computers become outdated, but you know, just gotta keep up with the times. You know, I guess. Go a little bit darker around here. Yeah, I think I'm almost done with this one uh, as far as shading. Okay, yes on the red. All right. Thanks, Artie Ross. I appreciate it. He says, another amazing video. Thanks, I appreciate it. Glad you guys enjoy the drawing. Yeah, I think this is, came out really well so far. I think we need just a bit of white here on this rest of this foot. If I can get this white pen to draw. There we go. Boom, something like that. A little bit of highlight over here, actually. It's nice. Um, so yes, on the red. What about, I think a splash of green back there somehow will be really cool. Really set offset the red, too. Um, black, black. We need to darken this area a little bit. Uh, what is going on? Hmm, kind of not happy with the shape I made of this. This looks a little weird, but maybe I can try to make it look a little more layered. There we go. Looks a bit better. A little more layered, like how it should be on a bird something like that it's good as I can best I can do at the moment doesn't have to be perfect you know it's really frustrating I don't know why the chat's not working okay let's add some red um I could just do this marker, but I feel like the watercolor is going to be more vibrant. I'll do, I'll do, let's see, I have a test. Where's that test page? So I have a test sheet of paper here. Let's just test it, I guess. Um, I'm going to move this for safety. So here's like red watercolor. And then here's red marker. Okay, that's too dark. You guys see that? So there's the red watercolor. There's that. It's too dark, not the right color. Let's try this brighter red that I have. This is the last. This is the last hope. Not much difference. So I think we're going with watercolor. That solves that. <laughs> that was quick. Um, yeah. Okay. That really solved that very quickly. This is... Okay. Uh, believe it or not, I'm going to use a small brush. Sorry to hear that, Mary. Glad you're seeing it now, though. What's going on in Saint Potato? I'm doing okay. So, I'm going to use a small brush for this because we're doing a small shape. Just trying to get a thick mixture of red. I think I'm just going to go pure red, pure cadmium red.
Okay, let's uh, let me set this down. Get rid of some of this moisture on the brush. Let's try to not too thick paint, but just enough to paint this on here. <laughs> this is going to be very powerful, but we'll try it. We'll try it. Nothing I can do but to do it. What do you guys think? It's kind of cool. I clean my brush real quick. Okay. There we go. Come on. Sorry, folks. I'm, this site will not. I don't know what's going on. Oh, definitely going to have to test this more. Anyway, not as bright as I expected. Yeah, exactly. I, I thought the same thing. I think because it's so small, you know, I thought it was going to be. Uh, overpowering but it's pretty nice actually it's really nice looking so you guys get a bit of glare when I put it flat on the table it's just a slight bit of glare so if I lift it up uh, you can see that's kind of the real you guys think I should do like a green background like just like a stroke or two or something you know some kind of something back there or, or should I just leave it like this are we done do I just leave it or do I try some kind of green back there? How about do this photo in watercolors? Yeah, I can I can do that. This could be a cool one. This could be a cool watercolor, definitely. No doubt. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow, but I'll do it, you know, maybe this week or something. We could try it. Um, we'll see how I feel tomorrow if I feel like doing this one again. <laughs> it's always tricky because I'm like, oh, am I going to be able to draw it just as well again? Yes to the green. I just didn't think you would do two colors. Well, today's the day to try something new, right? We're going to do two colors. Insane Potato says, leave it like that. Enrique says, yes, green. Lane says, go with your gut. Well, isn't that just a big, crazy mixture of answers? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Now I just got to mix up the right green. So let's try to, let's try to figure out, let's try to figure out the right green. I know what brush I want to use. I'm going to use this brush. It's number 16 round. Um, my water is a bit dirty and kind of reddish, but that's all right. It'll kind of harmonize with the, make the green harmonize a bit more. Like it like this. Well, let's just try to mix up a green. Let's see what happens. So, look at that. We're already getting some kind of green there. Very ugly green that I would not use. I think we want probably Viridian. I'm going to get this Viridian over here. Viridian is very weak of a color, so I can't use it alone. But it is kind of a cooler green that I want. So I'm trying to just get a lot of Viridian there. See how weak that is? Didn't really do much. I almost want to go down here. Let's see. That's probably better, easier. Get some of this cadmium yellow. 
Now the problem is I, it's too much water. Just something soft though? Well, I can't do something soft. <laughs> it's going to have to be a, a strong green because I got to, on this paper, I got to do pretty heavy pigment. I can't do like a wash like watercolor. So we'll try it. We'll just see what happens. Too dark. There we go. Something like a rich forest green. You guys can't even see that. There we go. How about that? It's better. It's better when you guys can see what I'm doing. You know, it's going to be darker on the paper, so I'm going to try to lighten it up a little bit with the yellow. Because I know, I know it's going to dry darker on this paper. So is that too yellowy, too yellow green? Maybe a bit cooler like that. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think that's, I think we should try it. Just try it. What kind of strokes do I want to do? I don't know, but see, that's what I'm going for. This bird, I think it'll look cool. I think it'll go nice with the red. Yeah, it's a bird from India and Bangladesh. It's pretty cool. I had no idea. But that's why I've never seen a bird that looks like this before, because that's where it's from. Splash of green. All right, got a green hearts. Okay. Here goes everything, folks. This could be, I could completely ruin it right now, but you know what? It's worth going for it, you know? I think we just like... Bloop, bloop. Some kind of stroke like that. You know, we can test it. We can test it and see. We got this... Uh, I'm going to have to wipe this off. Give me a second here. So I can get this... I'm going to move my drawing just for safety. And I'm going to clean this off real quick. It's from another commission I did last week. So we'll just wipe this off. Try to start with something clean. And then put down one stroke and see what it looks like. Put down a few strokes maybe. Make sure it's not wet on the other side. Okay, good. Here we go. Testing. One, two, three, testing. Okay. I'll add a touch of cad red, I guess. I'm just afraid of it getting too dark. Okay, it's going to be a glare on it for a second, but oh, that's stupid looking. <laughs> Not that stroke I did. That to be something like. Oh, that. that looks like a knife or something. You know, it's going to look different than this when it's on the paper, be dry brushed. I could do like is that too much? Could be too much. I don't want it to be too much, you know. Uh, yeah. This is very dangerous what I'm doing. Doing wiping this off over the page. Uh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's try to go straight like I did the other day. I kind of like that. I kind of liked when I just went. What happens if we go straight with it? I don't know. Too much. You know, I wouldn't do these bottom lines, keep these bottom lines out, but the top thick line and then the thinner line at the top, it's kind of cool. No to straight. Well, it has, the bird has movement. You know, I'm trying to have like, I don't want it to be too chaotic in the background. You know, if I start putting in leaf shapes and all kinds of stuff, that's going to be like too much you know it's too chaotic hmm not a fan of the green well maybe we just leave it as it is I guess just leave it like that keep it strong see I feel like it needs something though because otherwise it's just Hmm. Okay. How about diagonal? Yeah. I mean, which way? This way? Have to be this way, right? Okay. Different green? What kind of? Don't say different green. What kind of green? Cooler? Cooler green? Because right now it's kind of yellow. Do you want more yellow in it? Less yellow in it? And I feel it's a little too yellow. Too, too much yellow in the green. Potentially. Well, I hope no one else is chatting to me on Twitch or Facebook because I cannot see it at all. This is really annoying. I don't know why this is just not working anymore. I would like a brighter green. What is that? What does that mean though? Brighter green? Lighter green? More yellow in the green? Less yellow in the green? More saturated? Add more, let's add more viridian and blue to it. So if I did a diagonal, Too much water in it, as you can see. Too much water in the mixture. Too much moisture. Something like that. What inspired me to become a streamer? Um, I don't even remember, to be honest. 
I don't know. I just started doing. I got a. I got this camera. That's what happened. I got this document camera, and it allowed me to do these streams. Oh boy. I thought you were going to balance the red and green top and bottom. No. Yeah, I know my I mean I know I'm streaming on Twitch, but I just hope no one's chatting <laughs> cuz I can't see the chat for Twitch. I can only see the YouTube chat right now. I'm supposed to be able to see all three of the chats all together and it tells me where where the comments from, but this thing, it logged me out, and now I will not load the chat screen, so I'm going to have to figure it out later. Um, what about a shaded background? Turquoise green, leafy greens, bright greens, red here, green there. I think I'm just going to try something. I don't know. I feel like diagonal is kind of cool, too, but it may be too much. I may want like a more subtle diagonal. You know, I don't, I don't know. I think it might be... Because the bird's already heavily diagonal, and I, I don't want I don't want to create like an X. You know, I want something. We have a vertical here. We have a diagonal. It's like we need something that that's gonna contrast against that. That's why I was thinking like a straight line or maybe slightly diagonal. Just something back there. It's just just there to give it depth. You know. Well, I can't really get more saturated with the green, you know, I'm using it like it's literally just green, <laughs> just Viridian now. I can't make it more saturated. It's like a two color mixture. You know, I'm thinking something like that. It's kind of cool. Yeah, that's too much, too much. More blue green. I just know it's going to be dark if I put a blue green on there. Yeah, I think that's it. I think we just try that. I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, there's not much yellow in it. There's not much yellow in it. Here, I'll show you guys. Actually, I can't show you guys on the green screen. It's going to. You can't even see it. I can't show you guys on my webcam. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty blue green I'm telling you it's pretty blue green the uh, color here I'm going with it's I mean it's I almost I just did viridian you know this is the green so I want it to look like greenery I don't want it to be like turquoise in the background you know I mean if you guys look at this reference the greens, they have some yellow in them, you know. It's not, it's not completely. Uh, you know. I'm just gonna do what I want. I just wanted to see what you guys would say. That's all. Just testing you guys. You guys know the whole time I'm gonna do what I want anyway. <laughs> but I like hearing what you guys say. Sometimes it's, it's good. I get interesting ideas, you know. So. All right, let's just try this. Let's just try to see what happens. Um, I'm planning like some kind of diagonal, maybe a double line over here, kind of forking together, coming out like this. I have no idea. Um, we're going to try it. So here it goes. Too short. Okay, let's try to get a little more pigment and I'm gonna have to turn the page here just so I can go or like horizontal from my arm. 
but it won't be horizontal on the page. Ooh, that's a little too diagonal, eh? A little too much. I really like this line, but eh, that one's a little, yeah, a little off, but not bad, not bad. Try to fix it a little bit. There we go. Maybe something like that. All I wanted was a little splash, you know? I think that's kind of cool. I think it's a good. I think it's a good color. I think it's just right. I knew it was gonna be a lot darker on the page because it's gonna mix with that. It's gonna. It's. It just happens on the paper. It's just something gets darker. The gray kind of goes in with it. It's. So, what is my white pen? Well, there's links in the chat there for the white pen. Um, so I have, these are the pens. This one is less bright. This is a Jelly Roll 08. It's a less bright white pen. And then this one is a Uniball Signo. And this is the bright white pen that I use today. This is the pen I use today. So they're both good to use. They have different feels to them. You know, the, this this one is a bit, uh, it actually has like texture on the page. It's kind of, it's very thick. The Jelly Roll is more like a black pen where it doesn't have a lot of texture to the actual pen itself. Um, yeah, I think I'm getting used to these kind of backgrounds and I'm seeing what I need to do to them, you know, to get like a more natural looking look to them and stuff. It's pretty cool. I, I really like the way this line is like, pointed and flowing and uh, I think I thought I messed up this diagonal up here but it actually looks really good now that I I kind of fixed it a little bit kind of curved it downward I think it's pretty cool you know not perfect but you know this part kind of annoys me a little bit but the only thing I can really do is you know I can just slightly connect this Something like, like that, maybe. Um, you know, but I don't want to mess with it too much. I'm pretty happy with it, so I'm just going to leave my, my own nitpicking away. <laughs> so just a little splash of color there, and it, it kind of offsets the red, you know. You know, if I wanted, I could even put like a touch of yellow on there, but... You know what, now that I mentioned it, let's just, I know you guys are going to be like, no, don't do it, don't do it, but let's just see, let's just see what happens. Let's just see. It'll it'll mix together a little bit. I'm not going to do it really bold or anything, or at least try not to. Let's just see what happens. We have a little accent on there. Yeah, you can't even really tell. But, yeah, it doesn't really need it. I'll just try to wipe that off. Hey, eh, fades right in, you know. Fades right in. doesn't even matter. Yellow, I knew the yellow would probably fade, so it's very hard to get it to really be opaque. But I think it's fine the way it is. I think it's good just the way it is. All right. Like I said, just had to try it. You know, sometimes you got to just try stuff and see what happens when you're experimenting, you know, still experimenting. This is only like what the fourth colored kind of background I've done with color like this on this paper. So, you know, I'm still experimenting with these different things to try and to do, you know, so. Oh, 
Okay, I'll stop touching it now. There we go. Okay, let's stop. Let's really stop. It's enough. See? No, don't do it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Come on, Grandma. Let me experiment. Let me have some fun. <laughs> Thanks, Lane. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think I've come a long way since one year ago. I mean, these are, you know. No, I don't want to put anything on the tree. I know it's technically green in the in the thing. I don't, just don't even want to draw any attention to this thing. If anything, I might darken this a little bit, but it might, it might just need a little bit more value just to weigh it down. You know, since it's on the bottom of the page, it kind of needs to visually. And the bird is so dark, it might just help to have this be just a bit more contrast. <clears throat> yeah, Amanda has some great art too, man. I should show I should show some of it if you don't if you want me to, Amanda. I'll show some of it on the critique tomorrow. Just show them what you do, man. It's really cool. It's definitely cool. And it's definitely art that people will like. Cause you eat it. Everybody loves food, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the wrong I'm in the wrong business, man. See this I need to start making edible art. Like imagine if you could eat this thing, like everybody be buying this right now, you know? <laughs> I'm in the wrong business. Okay. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I'll show I'll show some tomorrow. Let me know what you want me to show. I wanna, you know, I don't wanna just show like I don't want to show something and then you'll be like, why'd you show that one? That one sucks. I didn't want you to show that. Just send me like a photo or two through text or three or something. I'll just show them real quick. Tomorrow. That'll be cool. That'll be dope. And then we can all nitpick it to death. <laughs> Well, we'll all act like we're eating it, and then we can just nitpick it, you know? Like, ah, too sweet, not sweet enough, too crunchy, too crispy. Could have been a little bit lighter. It's a little heavy. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Kidding. Oh, uh, okay. I'll, yeah, I could I could do more birds. You know, I just saved another photo today that was really cool. It was like a head. I think it was a... Don't quote me on it. I don't know what kind of bird it was, like a quail or some kind of... Guinea hen, hen or something. I'm not really sure what the, I, I, I'm not really sure what the name of it is, but um, yeah, like some kind of, uh, I don't know, really colorful bird and it's had like its head and it's, it's like uh, upper body. I thought it'd make a gray watercolor. I might, maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I'll plug your Insta too on there. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I'll put, I'll, I'll be sure to make like a text thing that I can put up there. We'll plug your Insta for show, for show. But um, anyway, thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. There we go. That's what it really looks like without the glare. You know, we always get the uh, always get the wonderful glare there. See, just a little bit of glare, but without it, it's pretty nice. I really love the green with the red. It's the perfect color green. No matter what all you guys say, this is the perfect color green. That's what I wanted. And I knew that's what it was going to look like. And um, I did it. Yep, sounds good. Well, if you guys have any like last minute questions or anything, I can answer some questions real quick. But, uh, you know, if no questions, then... Uh, you know, we'll get off here. It's been an hour and a half, so have you got like anybody got any last minute questions? Five minutes? Any anything else? Any other art from me you want to see or something or have questions about or 
um, yeah, anything, anything, just shoot away for the next three or four minutes. If not, then, okay, then uh, my job is done here. I'll have this up for sale on my website later. Um, please hit the like button, folks. Please, if you're watching and you haven't yet, please hit the like button, share and subscribe with your friends. Hit the share button below the video. Share it everywhere, Facebook, all kinds of stuff. And uh, yeah, check out my website. Check my website. You got you can find all the stuff for sale up there. I have some blog posts as well. I have pen and ink drawings, watercolor paintings. I'll be doing a watercolor. Oh, not doing a watercolor tomorrow. Doing a critique tomorrow. Forgot about that. Definitely be doing a critique tomorrow. Uh, I also have a support page where you can donate to me, support me on Patreon. I'm, I'm uploading uh, real-time drawing videos to Patreon. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing on Patreon. I'm, they're not going to have any, le it's not going to be a lesson or anything. It's just the actual experience. You know, I'll put some music to them and um, just random music, piano music and stuff like that. And it'll be the real time drawings. I also have a band camp where you can check out my music and instrumentals that I make. And uh, yeah, send me an email guys. Tomorrow we're doing critique. So send me an email to info at schaeferfineart.com of one photo of your art that you have and we will critique it live tomorrow anyway like i said it's on my website schaeferfineart.com really i'm getting action on my twitch chat come on man i gotta get this thing resolved see this restream thing it has it has you can download the chat as an application on your computer but i didn't do that i'm using the in browser one and now it kicked me out of it and it won't let me back in it. Like it just won't log in, it won't refresh. I don't know what's going on, it's very annoying. I could try to open up my Twitch, but that would take a freaking year and a half probably. I'll try it and see since, uh, since I finished this painting. So I'll just see what's happening. Hopefully the people on the Twitch can see that. This is the first time I've ever streamed on Twitch or trying this, so you know. Hopefully I'll, I'll be better in the future, you know. Just take some time. Everything takes time and patience. So just erasing some of the pencil last minute. So I'm going to touch up this one spot. See this? I got some green paint right on the white marker. So what I'm going to do is touch that up because it'll it's going to put the uh, add. It'll make it look like the green is sitting in the background, which is what I want. I want that green to be sitting back a bit. It'll make it look like I put the white pen on top of the green, which is what I actually did. And I just bring the bird a little bit more forward. So, yeah, it's taking a year and a half to open up Twitch. Come on, man. But it's all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invest in a new laptop here soon. Too dark. What's too dark? Have a good one, Nathan. Thanks. Wow, shout outs from Brazil. Thanks, man. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't see any questions, so uh, I'm gonna get off here, I guess. Just trying to catch up on the chat here. <laughs> it's funny. Someone says too dark, and then I'm looking the the. Uh, I just loaded the chat on Twitch now, and it says the green is perfect. It's like, <laughs> uh, can't please everyone, that's for sure. Thank you, Christy, for saying that the green is perfect. And uh, the pink Loki, hi, hello, on Twitch. We got a few Twitch viewers. Cool, man. Cool. I'm glad this I'm glad this thing worked out. So this is this is definitely worth having. Um, 
I'm a busy artist. Well, I try to be, you know, I'm just trying to do this every day, you know, every weekday at least and make some YouTube videos every week. I'm trying to do two videos a week. So yeah, check out my YouTube. Um, this Wednesday, I have a new video come out. It's going to be pretty interesting. I hope, I hope you guys will enjoy it. It's about drawing. So definitely will be interesting, but I'm going to get off here, get to eat some dinner. I got some things to do. So, uh, Catch up with you guys tomorrow. We'll be doing a critique stream. Let me uh, bring you guys to my library here. Check out my the Hall of Knowledge here. <laughs> so, um, yeah. All right. Well, all right. Take care, folks. I'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys on the next one. Peace.